cloudy and 75 today. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark from 408. We're out here at the farm. As you can see, we got a bit of snow, not really much. It's been pretty mild, like plus one, plus two, plus three, but it's supposed to stay plus one during the days now and then like minus five to 10 at night. So hopefully we get more snow and it freezes over. So what do you guys think about this 20 Platinum? I was thinking of getting 20 with 21. They look pretty fancy. I was watching the video today. Pretty schnazzy, but we'll see. Get a GMC. Get a GMC, says. This one's dirty. Why'd you peel up the gravel road? Hey, the country life, man. Country, country lifestyles, eh? I didn't get this from the city. <laughs> Mine's just a city grocery hauler now. Look, I even got a speed bike in the back. <laughs> Maybe look at a Honda. Oh, race on that. Oh, anyways, razor blade. I'm ready. Do you wash your gear every time? I do. I was going to say, you keep pretty yeah. clean. Yeah. Well, As you can see, I don't wash my gear ever. So I've never wife, washed this coat, actually. See, my wife bitches at everything, so. Yeah. Well, I, she likes to just keep things clean. She likes stuff clean. I feel like she's always doing laundry with you guys anyway. Yeah. With us in it. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, the shredders. We have not shredded in a long time. Um, last February, I believe, I took this thing to Florida with us, to Hogwaller, and it was going well, everyone was loving it, and then turns out we had a wiring issue, and some of the wires got cross-wired, I always want to say cross-threaded, but cross-wired, and some smoke came out, anyways, Brad's dad fixed it, but now it only goes about half speed, and then it bogs out, so we're going to throw her up on the uh, old expensive stand right there, and, uh, I feel like the choke's on her. It's probably something stupid. It's got the beginner key in it. Yeah, you got the beginner key in it. Oh. All right, give her a little prime here. I don't even really remember how to run this thing. Well, you hit the start button, I'll run the gas. We're back, I got it. Scared Jay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we're under the sky. Oh, you might have to turn it up. Hey. All right, Jay, you run it. <laughs> yeah. Well, slowly work your way into it. have any ideas of what could be wrong with it leave me a comment because uh, I want to get this thing going again and rip it also a lot of people have been at it asking about shout outs if you guys want a shout out you gotta be like Big Steve Big Steve loves me and Brad and Jay so I'll put his comments in he always he always stands out he always leaves a lot of comments so if you the more comments you leave the more we're gonna notice them and read them I do read the comments but you know, you go through them so fast. So if you want to shout out, lots of comments. Well, you want to take her for a rip? I'll try it out, but... Watch out for the block. Yeah, so it only go half speed, apparently. No, no more wheelies. So this is this is the top speed we got right now. Then she kind of bogs out. Usually goes you know three times as fast as that. And wheelies no problem. 
He's making it through the snow, but... He's <laughs> just a little slow poke right now. I'm running 94 in it too, so... I don't know if she just got some bad fuel in it or... Don't really know. Uh-oh. You're dragging it back here if you can't get it going. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we'll check the uh, fuel filter next. Mount J. If you guys have ever had a chance to ride one of these things, they're pretty fun. And they're coming out with an electric one, hopefully this year or next year. They're in China right now designing it. I wonder if some got sucked in the, uh, the air intake. I don't know, pull her back to the garage. We'll have, we'll have another look at her. No, no wheelies. <laughs> okay. Going at the chef. We're back down at the compound. We got Jay with the big old diesel. It's gonna be old Duramax versus the Detroit diesel. Let's see how she goes. Maybe I'll try and pull out with this old thing. This feather. Ding, ding, put your seatbelt on. <sighs> Look at that beast. I can't believe it jumped as well as it did. Anyways, I picked up some gas so we can run the Blazer and the Sierra again. So hopefully she goes well. Oh, all right, let's, uh, let's have a look at this thing. It's like bright, but cloudy today. It's weird. But I'm squinting. So as you can see, the whole box fell off the frame. There's the uh, Saturn we jumped the other day, Laura and I. Oh, that's what's back here. Not much. Pigs left in there? Look at the fishing gloves. You know what? You made fun of these gloves, but they're actually really good. And I just bought a pair of blue ones, but they're not as cool as those. Oh. Mine are a little shorter. I was hoping I could get the long ones. These are a new school special right here. Yeah. Hey, if they ever go missing, you know where to find them. Came with 10 pounds of crab. <laughs> uh, oh, I did hit the light the other day when we were shooting. I was trying. I wasn't sure though. It's pretty far away. But yeah, she jumped well. I'm thinking if we can, if we actually do get this thing out, we should try and start it and make it run away. Yeah, we could. I think we're just gonna pull this whole box right off of it. Yeah, like I don't even know where to hook up to it. I wonder if we go, hey Mark? Yeah. Off and go through here in the roof vent. Dude, we're gonna rip the whole box off. Well, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Then we got a bare chassis. Yeah. And then if we blew it, if it lit on fire, I wouldn't be too worried. Yeah, I don't know. We're not going to yank it forward, that's for sure. No, I was thinking yank that way from the back. Yeah, take it all that way. I still can't believe how well this jumps. So if you guys haven't seen the video, go look it up. But that's the jump. The first time it landed just on the edge up here and then rolled over there. And the second time she went off course and... And then as you can see, everything snapped off. And that was pretty much the end of her. But I think we can get one or two more videos out of it. I would like to grenade the engine or sell it. It's a big old Detroit, Detroit diesel. diesel. Apparently it's not the good one though. No. It's the 6.2 or something. I don't know. 6.2 liter. I don't know. I don't make the rules. I just jump stuff. So. All right. Let's figure out uh, where we can do this. I don't even, what do we hook it to? Oh, there's a bumper on here. Perfect. <laughs> this is this is what it landed on. This was the only damage when it jumped. Really? It landed on the bumper, and that's why it's bent like that. Oh, yeah. It's a good bumper. <laughs> it's got a hitch. Oh, yeah, hitch right here. Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's go get the yank them and yank them out of here. Yeah. <laughs> don't fall. These are the gloves I bought the other day. So they are kind of rubbery, and then they're dipped on this side. I just got them from the dollar store there. I was walking by, but 
I don't know how long they last. I've worn them like these before and this part always cracks, but. Yanking a pig truck. Never seen anybody do this with a pipe clamp. Oh wow! Yeah, whatever works, right? <laughs> All right, so we got the Yankum rope, the nineteen thousand pounder. Where she's getting pretty beat up, but uh, me and Laura took it to the mud the other day. Her dad gave me these new clevises, so let's uh, hook her on there and see where we uh, end up. Make sure she's not in a big gnat. Probably is. Are you going right from your boss? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Good enough. Turn off the muffler. Turn off the muffler. <laughs> like horseshoes and hand grenades. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're all hooked up. Super light platinum. What are your bets? I think I think you're gonna pull it. Like you're gonna surprise yourself. I would say two inches. Because I don't think it's frozen. Hey, two inches is a lot if you don't have it. Two inches is a lot. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Here are the beans. Nice day though. Oh, it's gonna need more than that. Back up here. Oh yeah, he's moving it. No problem. Wow. I think this thing looks bigger than what it is, but she's a, she's a heavy girl. Little brake uh, break boost there, hey? I told you. Hey? I can't believe it's a rope. I know. It's yeah. sketchy when you're first doing it because you're like. Yeah. No, it's like a big rubber band. Yeah, big old rubber band. So. See, I told you. I believe this one's a 19,000 pound one. Yankum is sending us a 140,000 pound one because we have some plans happening. So. Um, yeah, but as you can see, my truck is very light compared to yours. So, you want to give her a go? I can give her How a yank. How far did I, uh, You here? came pretty far. Oh, yeah. You're moving, eh? Go 40 more poles, I'd have her over there. She's spring down here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, you'll get I her. I you can do her in two. I'll try my best. All right, let's go get the old Duramax. A big dirty. Better take those tinted license plate covers off and make it pulled over. Laura got wheeled the other day in front of the house. <laughs> uh, just got a warning though. All good. Female TD. All right. So I did a, a decent little job. Did the 4x4 launch. This thing's got a bit more weight though. So I think he's, uh, he'll have some good momentum going. Nope, I'm still not wearing gloves. I saw your your guys' glove comments. <laughs> uh, I took my traction control off in 4x4 yeah. too, so. Yeah. I have extra weight just for, just for today. Look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a heavy one. That's our next job right there. Oh, yeah, I forgot we are doing that. We should grab that strap, hook it up to my truck, and I'll pull you pulling yeah, this, pulling that. Good. Those are good. <laughs> Never used them, but they're good. Okay. I like your sales pitch. Well, I hope I don't break my Amazon hitch here. That's off Amazon? Off Amazon. That's amazing. I wonder if we should go off those chains. Right nah. Let's try this one. Let her fly. So how far do you want it? Like at the road? Or? No. Yeah. Actually, that would be nice. Stay her the road and get rid of it. If I can pull it, where do you want it? Oh, just right here. Just right here? Yeah. That way it's kind of out of the way. That way we can come screaming through here again. Hey? Okay? With the blazer. We need to get that Cavalier out of the way too. It still runs, I think, so. All right, okay. tug away. What a beast. Best 250 bucks I ever spent. Paid for itself the first two minutes. I'll give you a little task pole here. Yeah. Uh -oh. you're, you're on that hill. Hey, back up. 
Yeah, I got those tires all full of mud first. Oh! Rope fell off! Oh, that's a light pole! <laughs> yeah! Uh. All right, your golden nuggets. Oh, you're gonna be laughing, I think. As long as that rope doesn't fall off again. I would go, yeah, there you go. That's probably good. Yeah, like you pulled it more than I did in that first go. <laughs> Put her in party mode. It's right on the dash there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no problem for the big old Chevy. You were still moving there, eh? Uh, I would stop right there. Just stay off that hill. Yeah. Another 10 feet. Get that turbo glowing. Whoop. Yeah, I can't believe this Yankum rope. There's a link below if you guys uh, want to check them out. They have a whole bunch of different styles. This one's a 19,000 pound one. And there's a discount code too. <laughs> I'd say one more go and you're good. Yep, all the links are below for all the sponsor products. I know you guys like discounts, so check them out. I think you're good. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe you finally got this move. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Now we can, can yeah can come flying through here. You want to pull the Saturn out of the hey? You want to pull the Saturn out of the way while we're at it? What else you want to pull? Yeah, everything. We'll hook them up everything at once. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna be old Chevy going. That's the first thing I pulled something with this truck. <laughs> really? Yeah, you can definitely tell it's a lot heavier than that thing. Yeah. But at least they moved it. But it's also pretty light though, because I got stuck here a couple weeks ago. And like no mud. I'm like, what the well, it's because you're so heavy in the front end, right? Yeah. The engine. Gonna need a wash now. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, she needed a wash anyway after driving up that gravel road. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna try to jump a car through it? Okay, is that what we're doing? <laughs> well, if I couldn't jump the Saturn, I was gonna drive through it, but. Oh, yeah, we gotta pull the Saturn out now, Chris. Yeah. Taking that thing out. Big blue. I'm just going to save this in my garage right here. Can you lift that up? <laughs> Am I lifting the whole bumper here? Must be. I'll grab the latch. That would help. <laughs> Good luck. Maybe go down and then go up. Yeah, screw it. Saws all. Saws all are off. Should we try and start it? <laughs> I mean, why not? I mean, if it does light on fire, we got lots of snow and water. Oh yeah, it'll be it'll be fine. Yeah, it's the old Van Der freaking. I needed new tie rods for my machine. There you go. <laughs> Some dead grass in there. Too. Yeah. Fresh tire. Think yeah. it'll start? I don't know. You she's gonna know. she's gonna need a lot of boosting. You have your no call? Yeah, we'll have to use that and boost it off your truck, I believe, because. Wow. Uh, it would be nice to get the door open. Well, I want to keep that stereo. <laughs> no, that's mine. I'm keeping that one. The old, the old cassette. All right. Uh, the door doesn't open. Should we rip the door off at the... Yeah, I would say let's just hook the Yankum to it and freaking rip the, the door, door right off. off. Why not? This door is bent. We want to try to get it started. So we're going to try to open it with the Yankum. Mark's going to do the honors here. It should be good there. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ready? You got a good view of the door. You got a good view of the door. You're good. Keep her going. Try pressing the button there. See if it opens. He wants me to see if it this opens. 
I think you need a little more. Oh, there it is. I think it's open. It's open. That freaking yank of rope is open for you. Hey, if you want to buy me something for Christmas next year, I'll take one of these. This rope is amazing. It'll tow any vehicle and apparently open any door. We're good. You're going to do the same thing with the hood? <laughs> Pull the hood right off? <laughs> oh, man. Can't believe it opened it. Oh, she's good. She was uh, bent the lock. Pretty bad thing, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Our What's next your... issue. Uh, did the motor get pushed back? Oh, or the cab pushed. just collapsed? Everything's freaking pushed. You guys run so hard on one, stuff. We got one battery there, and then we got one battery up front, so we have to boost both of them. The old dual battery. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't just put them together. But, uh, yeah, let's try and get this hood open. And All right. We'll check back in in a minute. Sweet. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. This whole clip was just bent forward, holding it shut, so we got her open. This is a decent battery, actually. We got that on. Oh, windshield wipers. Got some juice. So we got the NOCO on and we're boosting off this big old wet. I got the glow plug warm up. Yeah. Bark it's hits in something. Let's see if it even tries to turn over first. I have a feeling this thing's screwed. No. I haven't turned the ignition. There's no key, eh? No key in there? Nope. No key. Can you fly out? No, I, I got it in my truck, I think. I didn't think I took it out, but maybe I did. I'm guessing it's this one. Oh, you fit perfectly in there. Oh, yeah. You ship pigs earlier today? This is how I drive on my... This is how my truck looks like when my wife drives This is This is your first year truck, eh? When you left Newfoundland? Yeah. yeah. This is a crab shipping truck. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see if it'll... See if there's anything. Is this the right key? I don't know. I mean, if your windshield wipers were turning. Yeah. Come on, Jay. Key that we got here. This can't be the one. It's remote start. Oh. Is that it? Looks like you're in reverse. Throw it in park. There you go. Glow plugs. All the glow plugs are on. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, hold on. Yeah, Gotta get ether. I didn't even think this. We we're gonna make it to this step. <laughs> we're moving in the right direction. All, All right. right. Ready to go? Yeah. Couple shots. That should be good. You good? You probably have to spray it as you're doing it as well. Like ten hands. I know. <laughs> She wants it. This fan's definitely rubbing on something. Come on. Get her? We're so close. This. Pouring coal at the back. I wouldn't put any more than that. Keep her going. Keep her going. Might have to might have to wash all the soot off your rims after. <laughs> okay. This is the worst ignition. <laughs> well it doesn't help that everything's freaking folded in on itself. You ready? Yeah. Chuck. Keep her going. Keep her going? Yeah. A couple more squirts of ether. Oh, can't turn the ignition.
does not sound good. Should we let her sit for a minute? Woo! Charge up a bit? Yeah. I feel like we're so close. Probably doesn't help that the fan's drubbing on stuff yeah, and the frickin' starter's probably rubbing up on something. Been through, it's pretty good. Yeah. How's this thing doing? Looks like we still got some juice. We'll turn it off for a sec. Let the other one charge up. I mean, it did take us a few minutes to start it originally, so. Yeah. And it probably doesn't help that it's a lot colder now. It's been sitting for a while too, right? Yeah. You should have seen when it first started up. You can't even sit inside, it's so loud. <laughs> with that engine cover off. Round two. And it says low coolant. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got all, uh, I'll spit in it. You want me to do that? Yeah, you can turn that. <laughs> Give her some fuel. All right, no fuel. Maybe try this ether. Maybe this is more potent. That's the no name stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. How warm are the cables? Not too bad. Not bad. You let her sit for a couple more minutes? Yeah, let her sit. I could always bring my truck around and hook the other cables up to it. I got a dinky other set, but. Uh... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, Idol. All right, so I got one good set of booster cables that I stole from Justin. And then I got the old back seat cables in case someone's car needs to be boosted, but I have the NOCO now, so I don't know how well these will work, but should we give her another whirl? I'll just throw a brick on mine to make it do the high idle. <laughs> I'll trade you. I'll trade you. <laughs> Trucks? Truck in the shredder for mine. Truck in the shredder. Oh. I know, it's a pain in the butt. I don't even think it'll go now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let's her sit again for a little bit. We'll give her two, we'll give her two more goes and then we're gonna wrap it up. Maybe I'll take my truck to the old puddle here. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely need a block heater on this thing. Yeah. On yours? No, on this. <laughs> I think she will go. It's just... Take, it'll take a while to turn Yeah, it it's going to take a while. How hot are these cables? Oh, yeah. The rubber will be melting off these soon. Really? They're getting hot? getting warm. Oh, good. My hands are cold. <laughs> nice. Uh, one last go in high idle here. I get in here. Yeah, you're getting old, Jay. Oh. Ah. Too much crab. Did you used to crab fish? I used to eat it. You used to eat it. My dad's a crab fisherman. Oh, okay. Oh. Holy frick. This thing doesn't even want to turn. Oh. Locked up. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. I thought it was going. Okay, go. It's gonna go. All right, let's let her sit for a sec. Did you give a fuel there? No fuel. No, but when it started going, did no you? No fuel. No fuel. No fuel. Nothing. I no fuel. No sprays. All right. It's got an exhaust leak. Well. Yeah, I think this whole thing's an exhaust leak. Well, I got higher hopes now. That was going to be the last chance, but now that it almost went there, let her sit for a bit. we'll let her sit for one more minute. Oh, almost down. 
Uh, we're just planning the next video here. We gotta get rid of that cap or that Saturn, move that Cavalier, then it's go time. I wanna hit this puddle doing 100. 150. How fast do you think I can hit that puddle? At least 60. I mean, you always hit it, so it's my turn. Wide open. Wide open. I'm gonna skip it so fast, my windshield's not even gonna go wet. It's fine. It's fine. I'll fix the ice. Yeah, maybe I'll we'll even take the platinum. We should stock this pond. <laughs> Just some ice cream. I'm sure I'm sure everyone would love us. Chris has an ice hut, we can bring Chris a hut down. <laughs> hey? Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen the new 2021 Platinum, but they're pretty sick. They're not that great. I, you want one. <laughs> so the uh, the running boards that come out now, they go all the way to the back tire. Then they got a button so you can kick it and it'll come down, then you can stand on it in case you're reaching in the box. They got new trim and stuff. What else they got? The uh, screen's a lot bigger. They drive themselves? Yeah, the the shifter goes down. That flips forward into a workbench. Uh, the adaptive cruise control or, you know, the lane assist works a lot better. And look what we got. A little late Christmas present. Thank you, Princess Auto. We're going on a spree again, Jay. I know. We need bigger booster cables, a generator, new truck. a couple brand new trucks. I don't know if we can get them there, but we'll try. We'll Those try. Those little mini bikes they have there would be fun to try. I know. A I big know. Wheel. But I feel like we could buy other stuff in the meantime that would be oh, yeah. more useful. helpful. Useful. Yeah, I'm sure we could pick up a cheap mini bike off Kijiji. Uh, all right. I believe it's time. It's go time. Go it's better freaking go. My hand went numb last time I was trying it. Coffee, then we're good. Yeah, pour some coffee in there too. So yeah, maybe I don't know if it starts going. Give, give her some, some give her some throttle, but maybe maybe wait. Okay, okay you ready? So close. You look like a cop from this angle. Me? <laughs> yeah. It's weird. That's what I do for a living. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave the glow plug. I wonder Actually, if we just let it sit and do something else and come back. What time we got? Almost three. What time you gotta go? Four. Oh, okay. Oh, we're, we're fine. It's we're good. good. We're good. Last one, then we're wrapping her up and we'll do it some other time. Okay. Give her lots of ether. Not a lot, eh? Let's let the glow plugs warm up here again. Okay, you got lots in there now. Oh god, I can smell it. The hands are freezing. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're gonna have to wait till next time. Too bad, at least it turns over. Yeah, we don't have all day. We wanna do some other stuff. So I think what we're gonna do is let her sit for now. Think about what it's done. Maybe we'll come out on a sunnier day when it's a little warmer. I think it's only plus one right now, so. Hey, I have a full, I have a full tank of fuel. I'll just leave my truck down just here. Just leave the truck down here, let her go. It's overnight. Try right get. But yeah, next time we come down, we'll, uh, we'll let her Frickin' charge up for a long time while we do other stuff and then uh, we'll get her going. I was debating on trying to sell the engine, but now I'm just like, no. We gotta make this a diesel runaway and blow it up for you guys, for the fans. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you follow Razor J on Instagram. Hey. There you go. <laughs> He's got it on his boob We now. even got the shirts. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I'm wearing today. I think, oh, I got a 408 one on. But uh, yeah, thank you guys again. Don't do anything we wouldn't do. Say a quick prayer for the old uh, Detroit Diesel here. We'll get her going. And uh, have a fantastic rescue day. Don't do anything we wouldn't do. Later!